we doing? I wish I could be a little closer. You can see. Hmm, hold on. You can always kind of see a clip. I wish I could be closer, but then I'll probably bump into the painting. a tiny bit closer. All right, we're gonna start there. I don't know, I just can't stop thinking about this cow. I just want to paint her. Um, so yeah, I already attempted to paint this cow in my sketchbook. I didn't like it. Um, I used all watercolor. I just, I'm not good at watercolor. I don't know how to get any contrast. So, we're gonna retry. We're gonna do just a base of watercolor and then gouache. Cause I know how to use gouache. So, let's see. I'm gonna start with some of this. That looks like a pretty good color. Actually, I'm gonna take some of the white. So yeah, how, how did I get this on the paper? I just, this is actually a photo because I did originally scan it before I started painting it, but I forgot to save the scan. So I lost the scan, um, but I did take photos. So I just edited the crap out of a photo that I took and then I went into my Cotman, whatever that is, watercolor paper, and I printed the edited photo right onto it. I had to trim it because it's like, it's a ringed sort of situation. Um, and then I printed it and it wasn't quite centered, so I had to trim it again because that is that paper is longer actually than the average size so yeah here we go I don't know I'm nervous now but I guess I can redo it anytime I want I could just do the same thing as what I did before plus with gouache you can always bring back white you can always lighten things up and it's so much easier to layer So we're just doing a base now. Though this paper is quite different from my usual sketchbook paper. The nice thing about this though is that because I printed this, the graphite's not gonna smudge like it does if I'm painting over an actual sketch. Yeah, so I wasn't planning on live streaming at all today. I was thinking maybe a little Majora's Mask because it's my day off, but I just kept thinking about this cow. I was just gonna paint her without live streaming. But I just kept thinking about wanting to live stream. I don't know. Because I like having the, the VOD afterwards to look at. I could have just recorded it, but I think if anyone actually does join, it would be more fun. So I don't know, I don't know if anyone comes on this time of day. It's like 8 p.m. for me in Japan. So maybe a little early for other people on a Friday if you're in like the US, like I know a lot of people who follow me are. We'll see if anyone shows up. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to paint a cow. And originally it was going to be like your standard dairy cow. 
Um, but then, I don't know why I kept thinking of... I, don't, I, I think I saw... I think I was watching a YouTube video today where someone used some stock footage of a Highland cow. And I was like, oh my god, that cow is so cute. And now I, I need to paint a cow. I was planning to anyway. I have like a whole list. I have my little sticky note on the wall in front of me. Um, that's like things I want. It says want to make <laughs> at the top. And cow sticker is on the list. I feel like animals are a good way to go when it comes to sticker ideas, especially for studying English. Ooh, that's darker. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. We're gonna go over with gouache if it is too dark. But it's actually gonna dry lighter. I have to keep reminding myself that. So yeah, I just wanted to paint a cow. Cute little cow. So my reference image is on my iPad in front of me, which you can kind of see. And it is from Pixabay. So it is copyright free. I always make sure all of my reference images are copyright free. Also, I noticed like my voice was really pretty quiet in my last stream, um, but I don't have like a microphone. I could put in like my my headphones for my my phone but I actually need to charge my phone right now as I'm recording so I'm streaming from my phone so I can't do both so I guess just turn up your volume I'm sorry All right, so maybe I have to let that dry a little bit. Mm, I don't think I'll go into the eyes yet. This is just what came with the Cotman palette, this little brush here. I wonder if while I wait for this to dry, it might be a good idea to post on Instagram. Post that I'm doing a stream right now. Also, I taped this. I don't plan on doing a background because I do plan on making it a sticker. And if it's a, I don't know, if I hang it up, I think it's fine with a white background. But um, I want to make sure the paper doesn't go crazy because it's not glued down. I had to take it. Well, it wasn't glued down anyway because it was from a, no, a not notepad. What do you call it? A watercolor pad with the spiral binding so I noticed when I was I was doing a Skillshare class for watercolor it did kind of curl up a bit even though it is 300 um, grams so it is pretty thick but yeah for whatever reason it still curls up so uh, and you, I can see it bending already so I'm going to let it dry just for a little bit, similar to what I did with my bunny before, because I don't want to, because even the gouache will get really runny if I start right now. So let's see if I can post to Instagram. Can't use my phone to do it, so let's see if I can, yes. Um, what should I do? Should I take a screenshot? How does one, <laughs> how do I do something like this on Instagram? Maybe I'll take a screenshot and then open Fire Alpaca. 
save it as an image. Oh no, there's another version that I need to download. I guess that's a good thing that they're constantly updating Pyro Alpaca. Mm, but still. Okay. We will crop this. And save it. Stream. Let's do that. Uh, I can't post a link, but. I can say link in bio. Do you think people would bother? Link in bio. Go to my Twitch. I can just put my handle. Stream, where is the picture I just saved? Here it is. Should I say, come watch me paint a cow? <laughs> I'm. Oh, it's typing with the English keyboard. Why does it do that? Why does it automatically do that? This is a Japanese keyboard. I'm live streaming on Twitch right now. Come join me. Uh, what's my channel name? <laughs> mm. Let's see. Come join me. And I guess I'll put my channel. Let's do like a short URL. We don't need the www, right? No, I won't say link in bio. Mm, let's see. Hashtag art. Hashtag live stream. Hashtag live. Hashtag painting. Hashtag wash. Hashtag cow. Uh, we'll do that. It's hot. I think, I think my neighbor turned on their heater. There's a thunderstorm warning. Oof. Post has been shared. Oh, I got a like. Someone liked my reel. That's a very bad quality image, but we're gonna go with it. All right, so is this dry enough? Oh, it's really curling up. Why, why are you like this? I feel like I'm gonna have to untape it. I'm like, I should have stretched this first, I guess. Why? So that's the one thing about that sketchbook. Like the Royal Talons one I use. It doesn't, even though it's not very thick paper, it doesn't curl up. It doesn't warp that much. This is like, I really should have stretched it first, but... I didn't think I'd need to. I didn't think it'd be this bad. I was gonna go from like the middle. That's okay, we're not in a hurry. We're not in a hurry. Just fixing. Oh, hello. Thanks for the follow. I'm just, I'm not, I haven't gotten very much done yet. <laughs> I was waiting for my base of watercolor to dry. And then my paper went and got all warped, so I'm just retaping it. Thank you. I think all cows are cute. I think it's kind of impossible for them to not be cute. <laughs> all right, let's see if this helps. Probably didn't change much. 
So the tape is definitely not even. So I guess that shows how much the paper moved. All right. And the tape does not need to be even because I'm not doing a background. I just want it held flat. All right, stay flat. Hopefully this works. Dang, it's squishy. All right, I'm gonna put the watercolor palette away. We don't need you anymore. We don't want you here. I'm gonna have to like squish this <laughs> under a book when I'm done. All right, what is next? Um, let's grab our favorite gouache brushes. Ooh, ah. One of the Heathers from Heather the Music. I've never actually seen Heathers. I've heard a lot of the music. I love musicals. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's something I'd be into, but <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Which Heathers? Like the movie? Well... <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, I like, I've heard people like on TikTok doing like covers on Broadway. Okay. Well, I definitely haven't seen it on Broadway. Um, what color are we going for here? I feel like this is a pretty good color already. Like I don't really want to change it. It could be a little more yellow. Let's put a little of this yellow orange. Anyways, is it a compliment to say someone looks like this cow? <laughs> I mean, I think the cow is cute. Is it the hairstyle? Because I noticed this cow in this picture. Let me see if I can actually show you my iPad right now. How do I? I need a brush holder. I made a, a palette out of air dry clay. I think I'll make a brush holder next. I don't know if the camera can pick this up well, but this is my reference. Um, my computer's lagging a lot, so I don't know what you're seeing, but this is my reference, and look at that hairstyle. That's so, like, 90s. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, bleach blonde in the 90s with the frosted tips. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Ooh. Welcome to the candy store, I feel like is one I've heard before, but I don't, I know a lot of musicals, but I, I really don't know Heather's that well. I just know it's about a number of girls named Heather who are not good people. Okay, I'm nervous because I've already messed this up once. Here we go. And I left this, I don't know if I should have made it thicker just because the paper's already wet. Maybe that's a little too yellow, but that's okay. It's fine, we're fine. We're fine, and I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to see underneath it. Um, maybe I should loosen it up even more. That is very yellow, look, maybe it's the light that makes it look so yellow. Here, well that is, these sides of the, the sides of the face are pretty yellow. Maybe I'll do what's in more shadow and yellow. And then we'll add a little, we'll cool it down a bit. Oh God, every painting has an ugly stage. I think, I think we're there already. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll add a little bit of this, but I need some white. Ah, oh, my Holbein is in my case. I wish I can draw cows, but I can only draw cat-like animals. Well, you just need practice. I've, this is my first time drawing a cow. I wasn't, this is my first sketch. Um, and I was planning to do like a whole spread of different, like, reference images trying to get it right but then I liked how it came out and I was too afraid to try anything else which is not good I should probably experiment more but I, I'm not used to drawing cows either this is literally the first cow I think I've ever painted ever I don't even know I don't even know what color a cow is apparently 
I think that's okay. Because this is like much lighter. It's going to darken up when it dries, which is the thing about gouache. What I really want to try to do is I really want to make sure I get the the direction of the hair. Oh, you know what? Actually, I had practice doing stuff like this because um, I did spend quite a bit of time practicing drawing Appa from Avatar. So he's not a cow, obviously, but he's a bison, which is kind of similar. And so the mouth shape is really similar. So that did feel very familiar to me. But it is also, it's not, <laughs> it's not, animals are hard. Animals are so many different shapes. The other thing about a cow is that it's so big that in terms of like making stickers and stuff, I can't, I could do the whole body, but then you can't really see the features of the face. So that's why I decided to do sort of a close up. Here, let's mix this in a little bit. It's a little more desaturated from the light. And then I'll darken this up later. I really don't want to cover up a lot of these ink lines because they're showing me the direction of the hair. But yeah, I don't know, cats, like I've drawn a cat before, but I feel like I don't have practice with cats. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything so I can have variety on my shop. So I think with that goal in mind, it's encouraged me to really try new things, like draw things that I wouldn't usually draw. Realism's also hard, but in order to, now I used to do very stylized things all the time. Like I really like drawing anime fan art and manga fan art, but what I realized in high school when I started actually doing fan art of like, like not animated shows, was that learning how to draw realistically, like real anatomy, what real people look like, really does help you once you try to stylize things. Like everything just looks so much better because everything that's stylized is based off of realism. Like obviously you can go crazy. You can just, you can give people like 10 arms if you want to, but it just looks so much better. Like it makes so much more sense once you study how to do real, real life. So, but now that I've been doing a lot of realism or like, I wouldn't say this is my style now, like how I paint all my gouache animals and stuff is particularly realistic. Um, Cause I like to add a lot of bold lines and colors and stuff. But like when I do pe portraits of people um, I do try to keep it pretty realistic, but I've noticed now that I'm finding it really hard to do, like, fan art of, like, animation and stuff. Now I'm finding it hard to stylize my art, because I'm, I guess I'm just out of practice. It's really easy to fall out of practice, no matter what you're doing, really. So... I guess that's just the, the name of the game. You got to practice and you have to keep practicing. And it's really, there's no one point in which you like just get good. <laughs> you can feel confident one day and then stop doing something for a while and then you get, feel really rusty and it doesn't work out the next time you try. So, I don't know. Art is a journey. Isn't that what they say? Didn't someone say that? So yeah, I wouldn't call this hyper-realism or anything. I would call this me trying not to dip into more paint because I am very stingy about my paint, but my paintbrush is getting dry. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta mix more anyway. Um, I gotta do the ears, which are, I think, considerably not darker but they're kind of warmer but I do like how I took in that white before I'm gonna have to get out my 
Hold on, wait, because I'm very, very low on this. And I think they're a little more red, but I'm so afraid to grab any red. Red is so strong. Uh, is too much? Alright, how's this for the ears? As long as it's cohesive. Like, I don't want to mix from scratch because I want to make sure I still have at least a bit of the colors that I've already used in whatever I mix. So it doesn't look like it's a completely different color. I'm just going for it. I'm not trying to make her look exactly like the picture. And I say her. I don't know if this picture is actually of a girl cow. But um, this cow that on my paper, we will call her a her. And I'm trying to decide on her name. I don't know when I started feeling like I have to name all the animals I paint. But I feel like I have to name all the animals I paint. And I don't know what I should name her. But I keep doing alliterations of like the the animal name. So it has to start with a C or maybe even a K, but I feel like even if it is a name usually spelled with a K, I would spell it with a C. I don't know. But then with the bunny, the bunny is just bunny. But bunny's a cute nickname for some people, so that works, I think. Alright, now that that's darker, I like that because I'm gonna do some lighter tufts on top of it, but I think this needs to be a little darker. Because these parts up here are getting a lot of light. That's why the mid-tone that I painted here was significantly lighter than the ears. Mm, she looks funny, because the paper's all bent. But hopefully, if I like once she dries, if I flatten her between some books, she'll be fine. Okay, I think for my sanity, I'm going to go into her eyes. Because those will make a good reference point. So I think I'm going to do some of this, maybe a tiny bit of black. I don't want it too dark because I want to make sure we can get darker points in later. Also, her eyelashes are very light, but I don't want to cover them up. Ooh, it's a lot of water on my brush. I feel like it's going to go where I don't want it to. But I think actually, because this is cold pressed paper, I think it's stopping the water from flowing quite as much as it does on my sketchbook. I'm not going to preserve the whites here because there's ink under anyway. Okay, and those lines... Uh, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it later. Um, she has like kind of little eye bags, which I think are kind of cute, but we'll get to that eventually. Let that dry, not do anything near it because it's very, very wet. And I will cry if I mess it up. Okay, we need some darker brown, so I'm going to go into this. I feel like I want to make that wetter. So, most of the shading is like here. But this is where I also want to preserve the... Because she has like a cowlick, ironically. She has a cowlick right on her forehead. So I want to preserve the direction of the hair, but I got to get the shadows down first. And then I think I'll do lighter tufts in the direction of hair growth. Let's see if I can. This is significantly darker, but I mean, we'll try to get a mid tone here. Is this any lighter? I will fix her beautiful fringe later. I can't tell what I even... I can't see the lines anymore. 
Okay. Um, that is still too light, so add a little bit more of this. And I definitely need to cool it down because that is too yellow. So let's grab a little blue. Just a little bit. Oh no, no, it's green. That was too much. That was too much. Ah, oh, it's so hard because this jelly gouache is like all dried now. So can I take some of that over here? So like there's random chunks that just, anytime I mix anything, they sneak their way in. This is very wet, but I'm gonna try to blend it out. Don't touch the eye, don't touch the eye. Okay, we're gonna forget about the her beautiful bangs for a while. Because we will put those back in later. I just wanna get those shadows down. I kind of like this color, but I do feel like it's a little too light still, so. But it's too wet. Okay, that's a little better. It's really curling the paper, oh my god. Okay, this is actually really dark, but I think I have to let that um, dry for a bit. And so let's go into here and put a little bit more of these darker darks while this is still slightly wet. I like how there's like little tufty things sticking out here. My goal here is contrast because that's what made me so upset when I ruined it with the watercolor before. So contrast, we can do this with gouache. We can get contrast with gouache very quickly. Okay, let's do some of this so that we can put something lighter over it. Oh God, this looks really streaky. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we're still, we're working on it. Every painting has an ugly stage. Get some of these dark bits that we'll cover up later. That's too wet still, yikes. Okay, never mind. let's go over here. a little too dark but whatever now this isn't actually part of the bangs this is I think going off the side of the face that's too dry okay that's much better okay this is a little too much red. These are some pretty warm shadows. Let's start making this darker and it kind of cuts off here. Every painting has an ugly stage. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have live streamed this. I thought, <laughs> I thought painting her eyes would make it look better. It doesn't. It doesn't. But we'll get there. We always get there in the end. Okay, so this is still ridiculously wet. But we're going to start, we're going to just like blend this together. A little more of this, a little more of that, a lot more water, and let's ruin my white. It's fine. It's fine. And that was too much. That was too much. Oh, uh, thank you. 
<laughs> it, I, I feel like it's definitely in the ugly stage at the moment. But I'm confident we'll get there eventually. It's just this paper is not what I'm used to. It's very sucking up the paper. <laughs> I mean, sucking up the water. It's very bent at the moment. All right. Okay, now I'll take that lighter stuff I accidentally mixed and add a whole bunch more of this yellowy, yellow ochre. Let's start, ooh, it's still too wet. Yikes. Let's start bringing out that texture. That's too dark by the, oh my God. <laughs> That was dangerous. Yikes. This does not look cute. No offense to her, but she does not look cute. All right. And we're gonna add, I think, some white to this. And we wanna make it real thick, because we're gonna try to cover up. I hope it's not still too, mm, too wet to start putting this down. It's a bit too wet. Oh, I don't want to wait. Maybe we can mix this in while this is drying. I'll line that up a bit. Try to get a bit of that uh, hair direction. And this is like a mid-tone here, so maybe I should mix these. Uh, that's not getting darker. Why does it still look so light? All right, and this was not dark enough. That was too watered down. So let's just go in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's coming together. And then gonna cover up quite a bit so I don't want to do too many shadows around here let's try some of the darkest darks I think I need to lay off the water a bit this paper is like it's like sitting on top of the paper which I'm not used to so let's see we have kind of this already it's kind of dried out so let's try using it So, try a bit of this, and it's a little lighter towards the edge, so take care of that later. I want to make that color. That's like a very gray. Um, this? Yeah, that's a good color. That is a good color. So we'll try to, yeah, I like that. I'm going to use it a little bit there. I didn't mix very much of it though, did I? That's okay, because this is just the lighter part, and then there's a shadow from this part, so let's try a little bit more of this, or a lot more, I guess. Yeah, I like that. Paint it right over the nostril, awesome. Good job. It's okay. Bring it back, it's gouache, it's opaque. And then cover that up a bit, blend it in. I'm gonna preserve this white here. This is drying lighter than I thought it would. Um, but let's do a significantly darker color, like just, just this, yeah. And I'll get the the dark 
close the mouth. Let's see, should I go full black for that? Maybe I'll use this. Restrain myself. We'll do just a dark brown. It's not quite pitch black. Ooh, restrain myself from the water. Let's try this first. No, we do need some water. Oh, it's hard to do a straight line because the the paper is bendy. Does anyone usually use this paper? The it's the Co Windsor Newton Cotman, whatever the heck the ah uh, what's it called? I buried it already in the English sketchbooks. Just Cotman watercolor paper. Cold press, but it's medium. I don't know. I don't know. It's like super warped. This is making my life very difficult. It's just sucking up water. Very out of my element right now. So it's just a lot of. like I'm constantly using too much water. But this is like, Cotman's supposed to be like, Windsor Newton's supposed to be good, right? Cotman's like student grade. So I know it's not like the best of the best, but it's supposed to be okay, right? See, that needs more water, but I'm so terrified to put too much water. Now I want to just blend with water. Oh, you probably can't see from the top view. But that, oh, I can't touch it, so wet. That's like Mount Everest. Did I do something wrong? Should I just have stretched the paper first? Is that, is that all I did wrong? I really bring back some of her beautiful bangs. It's not uh, thick enough. Or else the paper is still just really wet. I know this is a lot darker, but I should have just started with this color because I'm going to go over it with a much lighter color. So these will be, this will be like the dark. Also, I'm having trouble like mixing a good color without it being see-through. So... I'm kind of just grabbing straight from the pan, which I don't usually do. But dang, you can keep seeing through it. Maybe the paper really is just still 
really wet. Okay, hopefully because that's not so wet, it won't take so long to dry before I can put white over it. But I can tell already this is going to be a bit chonky. Oh, let me not hit the tripod. Whatever you call it, the wiggly worm. Okay. I want to get some variation in color in these ears. Now, I'm going to go for a lot more white. Hopefully, not too much water. And I'm going to keep this big brush, I think, because I want that. I want to see the tufts. Ah! There was one little thing sticking out here and I made it way too thick. Alright, and then... It's really patchy up here. Paper that wet still. Not gonna lie, I'm struggling. This is a struggle. Okay, um, I'm gonna do her eye. I'm gonna do her eye. I don't care, I'm gonna do it. Because She's not looking cute right now. I want to see a cute little eye. I wish I had a smaller brush. See, this is the contrast I need. Do some of that and some of this. Uh huh. I feel like the oh no, see, it's so wet. She's still got like a very dark spot of wet black paint. Can't even see it so shiny. Would it look better if I just put a white dot? Just so we know she's alive. Boop. Boop. Okay, now she looks alive. Now I'm not as mad at her. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We are. This needs to be, maybe I should use a little bit of this. Haven't brought any of that yet. No, that is way too red. Oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? No. No. I'm gonna run out of space on my palette. Maybe that's okay. I need a thick 
So we gotta cover all this now. Okay, that's cute. That's cute, I like it. I like it, that's good color. Maybe that was what we needed, a lot more red. Just looked so yellow. There we go, because that's like covering up her eye, which is why I wasn't finishing her eye off. I was like, what's the point if I'm just going to cover it? Okay. Just wait, just wait till we get the highlights popping. Oh! oh, that's the second time I dropped my brush today. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's not. It's okay. We can cover it up. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. I think I'm thinking about this too much. We're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it, and we're gonna fix that eventually. I like this. See, I like it when I'm doing it like this. All the tufty bits. That's it. That's what we got to do. That's just how we got to do it. But she's got such thick hair. We'll drag some of this down here, the side of her face. Now that we got those, mostly those shadows, but we need a little bit more. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like this. We don't need those long strokes. Nope. Just like that. Okay, she's actually kind of looking like a cow now. Now, like I said, I wanted to maintain the direction of hair growth, but she's got a bit of a cow look here. That's cute. Um. Oh my god, I almost dropped my brush again. <sighs> I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Why? And there's a bit over here on her brow that's a little lighter. And that's significantly lighter. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, cute. This is also significantly lighter. Cute. All right, all right, I like what we're doing. She's finally looking like a cow. Um, let's start mixing. I might actually be fine on its own since I already contaminated the white. Let's go, let's, oh, no, that, you know what? Too much, too much. Let's grab some of, some of this. Too much right now. Eventually we'll get there. Uh, let's do even more of a mid-tone. Yeah, like that. That, yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm just gonna do something like this. You know. Get that one right in front of her eye. Got a little bit of this. It's going in all directions. Got even a little bit of a curl. Tuft that ear, heck yeah, love her little tufted ears. And it's gonna also dry a little darker. It's quite thin, so that's good. Looks almost like too much at first. I like that, we're getting there, we're getting there. Maybe we'll go back to the lighter one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to stress out anymore. I think I was thinking too much about it. We're just gonna go for it. I want to see the brush strokes. 
Nothing has to be perfect. Get this a little lighter. Oh, it's gonna dry darker, isn't it? Let's do this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at those tufts. I love that. Now we got that contrast going on. Glad I stuck with a big brush. And a few, few little over here. Maybe I'll make that those ones darker. I also have to anticipate that this will dry darker, which I'm pretty used to by now with gouache, but sometimes I do get a bit scared that I've messed up, but then it turns out okay. Um, that's a little bright. That's still bright. Mm, it's still pretty bright. But this is where we can do that very nice cowlick. It's like a star pattern. It's real cute. Maybe I'll get more of that over here. Can't see that. Oh, it's really hard. To, I want to push it down, but I can't because it's wet. <laughs> Ugh. Should I start rendering our nose a little bit? I'll kind of move back and forth. That's usually what I do. When do I want to fix that? Because the nose is the same color as the horns, essentially. So we can kind of do both at the same time. So that was a little bit of... A little bit of this. It's with the light. It's a little too warm. Yeah. All right, so we didn't do anything here yet. That is warmer than the other side. Uh -uh. Maybe we'll warm this up a bit too. See, it's fine. Gouache is opaque. We can cover. We can cover it up. It's fine. We're fine. Hey, right, we're getting there. We're getting there. A little wet so I don't really want to blend it out yet because I don't want to oversaturate the paper um, but I do think the light is coming from this direction and it actually makes it quite a little bit warmer on the light side so maybe it's okay that I mixed it in with the warm stuff yeah see that looks good okay now maybe we can blend a little there's also, she, she also has some like really cool cracks in her horn. So once that dries, I think I want to try doing that. Okay, let's go back here. That is a tiny bit. Oh, I can use this to cool it down, can I? I use too much blue. That was a reminder. It is 9 p.m. Uh, how does that look? Same color. Okay. That means we can even this out a bit more. Um, this is actually like the top of her nose is a bit warm. So I should have kept that color. Yeah. Heck yeah. Now we're going to dot it a little bit because her nose is very textured. Oh, it's coming together. It's coming together. Can't wait till I can go in with the black on her eyes. Then she's gonna really pop. Right, let's try some of this. Whew, whew. That is so satisfying. Oh, that's why I love painting dog noses and stuff. It's gonna, cause it's, I, I left it extra, extra wet, so it looks sort of too 3D right now, but when it flattens out, when it dries, you get this like, I don't want to say scaly texture, but you know what I mean, how dogs and cats and the texture of that nose. Oh, and then let's do a little darker for the sort of whisker holes here, because cows do have, they do have a bit of whiskers. I almost dropped my brush again. <sighs> 
I love that. I love that texture. We're gonna use this darker color right here to sort of, because it's quite furry. Her chin is quite furry here. And it's kind of, you can see it going into the dark part of her mouth. Oh, I like that. Cute. Oh, let's use some of this also to get some of these shadows, occlusions, where the fur sort of touches. Oh, I like that. I love the texture. It's making me excited now. I feel like this is not enough. Like it's, like she is slightly facing like the left side of the page, but the right color yeah and there we go balance it out a little I think I like that I think I do now this is quite light but I feel like you can see too much of the white of the page under it so let's do like a super light Color here. Oh, we'll get that for a texture. Go between those dots. Right here, juicy nose. I know that sounds weird, but the cows got juicy noses. They have juicy noses. And then this highlight on the edge here. Yes. This is significantly lighter. That should be lighter. Um, there's still quite a bit of the ink showing right there. Okay, I like that. Um, we could go a little bit darker here. Ooh, a little dry brush for those whiskers. You can't really see that. Okay, we'll let her mouth dry. Um, we need to add more darks. Grab a little more of this burnt umber. And we need to up that contrast. And I like how, like, the texture of our horns is like lines. Like, if you see lines on your fingernails. Oh, my laptop turned off. Hello, laptop. <sighs> Good morning. Don't fall asleep. Hello. Yes, ma'am, turn on. Forgot to change the settings. I'll do this over here. Oh, that's still a little wet. It's not going as dark as it should. Might have to come back later. And we'll blend that out a little bit later. I wonder if I can start to, yeah, bring it out. That little cow lick. And then put some of these back in. Oh, oh that's cute. Now this should also be significantly darker, so I'm almost tempted to do like a glaze, but I think I'll do what I did with the bunny rabbit, which was sort of just add tufts. Just want to mix everything. Now this is, I gotta get that white off my brush and a little darker because this should be dry. Mostly, kind of, it's a little wet. I want you darker. Hmm, that over there. Over here, and now this needs to be very dark. 
and your cute little eye bags. Love it. Let's warm this up a little bit. And she's got some of that here too. This needs to be significantly darker. Little eye bags. Not too high. It's, oh no, she's got sort of like two. Probably no one understands anything I'm saying except me. <laughs> Cute, 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 cute. Don't have much on the brush, but that's good. It's not too strong. Let me see if I can lighten that up. Yeah, lift that up a bit. Okay, this is... I can add oh, a little more water. Something lighter here. So this goes... Ooh, I like that. It's like a, a tone we haven't gotten yet before. Or a mix I haven't done before. Yeah, so that's sort of smoothing it out a bit. Okay, this area needs something a little more red. That's... I had white mixed in it. Shoot. A little bit of this. Still seems very light. We're still in the eye, eye bag area. Still light. But it's okay. <sighs> what do I think? I'm getting pretty happy with the face. I think we could use more of that red, so I'm gonna go in with this thing that I was afraid of. What is this? Burnt Sienna. And ears. We're gonna more, do more. Oh, that's too white. Let's mix it in here. Yeah, because it's quite red over here, and this needs a lot of red. Like the edges kind of get tinged red. The complete edges is like this yellow color, but like towards the edges. And then we need to bring back those shadows because that dried a lot later than I expected. Aha, uh -huh, I'm liking that. Up in that contrast. This still, like, I feel like that shouldn't even be there. Yeah. Okay. What now? I, there is no really, really dark spots on the top of the head, so we're gonna have to, like, mix this to get our shadows. And I'm definitely adding more contrast than I think the picture actually has, but that is the name of the game today. More contrast, up the contrast. And then, that's still wet. She's got like, 
it's such a human hairstyle, but that's what she has, and I love it. All right, let's add a few different more, like a cooler tone here. Just spice it up a little, you know? And then we want something significantly lighter. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? That, do we need it that light? I think so. I want it. Let's bring out those bleach blonde highlights. Really give it the dimension we've been craving. Is that too much? And a little bit to the to the ears and to the edges. No, it's it's drying darker. I never know, because like I think I'm pretty good at judging, but sometimes when I first see it, I'm like, oh my god, but then it does dry how I expected it to dry. Oh, I just darken that area only to lighten it up again. There's a lot of little bits that are like crossing over each other. Hmm, I feel like I still have to lighten it. I don't want to darken underneath because I don't want it so dark because when you print them into stickers they really dark things just are too dark so we're gonna lighten it up go back into our barely there white and we'll keep it pretty thick mm, a little yellow mm, uh, no Like, the thing about the light is a lot of it's coming from this way, but it's almost directly at the top. Because she's outside. So, like... It's here. But then there's some bits here, because she has so many tufts of hair that are, like... Going over shadows. Like that. That's cool. I like that. Okay, maybe we should go for the horns now. Just a little bit of water. And we lighten the tops there. And see if I can get... Oh, yeah. She's got, like, those cracks and stuff. Cool. It's edgy. I like it. And then like those lines. Cool, cool, cool. Mm, now I think we can go for the light here. Especially down here. But I want a couple like peeking like boop. Boop. Because I like that contrast. Okay, should we do her eye eyelashes? Cause she has some, she has some cute eyelashes, and I feel like I've just been waiting this whole time. There we go, beautiful long lashes. And then her eyelid right here. It's a little too light for being over there. But it'll probably dry darker, I have to keep telling myself. Yeah, it's drying darker over here. 
Um, how else can we go for her eyes? Like she has slightly lighter, like her, her waterline. tear duct over here so it wraps around I'll go back over that a little bit I think with uh, maybe maybe not I still feel like the darks I didn't want to add more but I feel like the shadow under her bangs are not not as dark as I wanted I don't want it too watery either. See, that's good. We just want a little bit. Oh, that was a mistake. Yikes. Can I fix this yet? Yeah. This is very dark. And this is very dark. I'm not even going to blend it out, I don't think. Okay. This is dry now, right? So we can really darken these. I think we're reaching towards the end. Alright. I'm gonna fix that. Maybe I'll do a couple just a little bit. was a little too much before with the eyelashes. And I think... I don't know, I'm like almost ready to stop. This needs to be darker. Also, I do have work tomorrow morning. Pretty early. What do we think? Let's bring back some of that cowlick. Oh yeah, I didn't go that dark before. I still feel like we need more contrast between the bangs. So maybe I didn't lighten them up enough. This area is pretty dark. is also pretty dark like okay so I gotta fix that spot accidentally went over but 
at the same time, I think they're gonna go lighter. These are bangs. I'm gonna add a little, just a little yellow or yellow ochre to that white we've been using. And it should dry darker. How's that? <laughs> we gotta add this throughout now. I don't want to do such long strands, I want to make it tough to eat. Okay, I can't do too much more of it because I can already tell it's starting to reactivate. Oof. So I guess that's kind of our limit here. That's my cow! What do we think? It's a cow! I wonder if I should, just so I can hang it on my wall, should I try to go over that with white? will it look really bad and see I don't want to put like other brown spots on it to try and like make it a fun background because I don't want to put brown spots in the background of a cow painting if you know what I mean you know what we can do I didn't do much on the edge of her ears so I think we can do some more highlights on the edge of her ears so we'll just do real quick because this side in particular, so the sun must be sort of to the, almost directly above her, but also to the top left of the page. And there's a nice big tuft there. So this has like a couple Right spots like up here towards the top and then we got quite a few over here on the top of her head she kind of reminds me of an anime character <laughs> that's what these like chunks of hair remind me of that is supposed to be Maybe that's too much, but oh well. This dried darker than I thought it would, so let's add that back. All right, that's where we're stopping. Thanks to everyone who joined. Uh, let me go and give you a close up. Ooh, I'm still plugged in. Here we go. Oh my god, I was worried for a while, guys. <laughs> she looked really bad for a long time, but I think it turned out okay. I would make a sticker of this. I think I will. I'm going to let her dry. And thanks for joining. I'm going to post this on my YouTube, so if anyone wants to watch it not live, it's going to be there. Thank you. Bye.